Hello friends and welcome to another Pokemon Max Raid update video. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and we are here a little bit sooner than what I expected. I was thinking we're gonna get like two weeks into August and then we get an event, but thankfully Pokemon dropped a big event for us to have a little bit of fun with over this weekend right now last night so this morning or whenever i woke up um i got the news that we have a brand new max raid event running over this weekend which is super exciting and because the last update for august was a little bit disappointing this is great news for us it means that we've got something else to kind of concentrate on and take advantage of right now in the wild area and in the isle of armor with these max raided events and gives us Pokemon to hunt that we probably actually need and would like to catch in uh, these max raid events so getting on to the event itself we are in game right now but we're always gonna hop over like we do to cerebi.net the link will be down in the description with all the details of this den it is gonna be a Pikachu themed den which is really cool a really nice event for us to run it is coined the Pikachu Outbreak Den, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the details are it runs from today, August the 6th, until August the 9th. So on Sunday evening, that will be the last of this event, and it will revert back to the August dens that we have with the GMAX Sandaconda and GMAX Dreadnought that we covered recently on the channel uh, as the dens kind of updated from July. So getting into what treasures we've got today, uh, to, to get access to you can see from the one star raid so again those of you that haven't got a bunch of gym badges yet or complete the game you're gonna have access to the one star and two star raids so with one star raids you're gonna get pikachu pikachu uh raichu uh lolan raichu which is very exciting uh pichu and mimikyu as well so it's a really nice mix of pokemon the kind of items that you're going to be getting 100 you're going to be picking up a wild charge which is a useful tm course uh, you're gonna get uh, berries uh, citrus berry there red candies you got 20 percent and so on and then kind of the standard items after that okay they're the one stars moving on to two stars this is pokemon sword as well so we'll move on to shield after we've done this again same mix of pokemon pikachus again raichu from kanto raichu alolan uh, pichu and mimikyu so mimikyu really rare actually a one percent spawn rate on both the one and two star raids which is crazy Again, the items are pretty similar again you're gonna get the tr the mix of berries and like general level up armor right or dynamax candies and things like that okay so moving on to the three stars it gets a little bit more interesting or not because it stays exactly the same we're gonna get the same pokemon appearing for three stars so whether you finish the game or not you're gonna have access to the same pokemon at this point so the three star raids pikachu pikachu and then we've got Raichu from Kanto, Alolan, Pichu, and Mimikyu. Then moving on to the four star. Again, going to be exactly the same. Going to get a different mixture of TRs now. We're going to get, obviously, the Wild Charge. You're going to get access to Thunder and probably Thunderbolt, I would imagine. No, Wild Charge. Okay. And uh, are we going to get the Thunderbolt? Okay. Yeah. So you get Thunder, Thunderbolt, and Wild Charge as the TRs. They're 100% guaranteed for the four star raids same mix of items but it gets even spicier friends when we move on to the five star raids and this is where everyone's interest kind of perks up i think because we get pikachu and then we see there is a guaranteed chance to get a square shiny pikachu which is amazing so we've had a shiny pikachu event before i don't think it was a square shiny though i think it was a star shiny so now we've got the opportunity to get a square shiny pikachu which is very exciting for all of us Again, the items are going to stay the same. The rarity of this Pikachu is 8%. Okay, so it's not got the best chance of spawning, but it's not the worst as well. We've seen wor worse, worse chances of it spawning uh, in previous events. I think the Whale Lord was maybe 5%. So we've got a little bit of an increase here for this one. Um, again, we're going to have the uh, uh, Kanto Raichu, Alolan Raichu, Pichu, and that 1% chance of Mimikyu. So technically, you've got more chance of spawning a Square Shiny Pikachu than you do have for the Mimikyu in the 5-star raids. So that's going to give you a little bit of hope for sure. Um, very exciting though. Uh, same collection of items and then we'll move on to Pokemon Shield. 
and we can get through this very quickly because I can tell you right now exactly the same across the board for both versions sword and shield you're going to get the same Pokemon and you can see right down here with the five star four shield is exactly the same as Pokemon sword so that wraps up about everything in the event for this weekend like I say it is running from today um, until the ninth. so make sure that you do take advantage of this event while it is running because uh, there is some really good things in this event obviously the squire shiny pikachu is probably number one on everyone's list but that alolan raichu is another one that is definitely a good one to get this weekend because at the minute you can only get this pokemon from the uh the diglett collector guy in the isle of armor so if you want to get an Alolan Raichu, if you don't have access to Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Moon, then this is a perfect chance to get it in a bowl that you would like to catch it in. Because otherwise, you're just going to be able to get it from the Diglett Trainer and it's only going to be in a Pokeball, which is... I mean, it's alright, but I mean, if you're like me, you kind of want it in a special Pokeball when you're battling or just for your collection. So this will be a nice opportunity for you guys to actually nab it in a, a special ball, whichever one you want. And if you lucky enough to get like a sport ball or something from the Kramomatic, then this is a good opportunity to get that okay now we're back in game want to know how to do this what we do come to our options menu hit mystery gift go to get wild area news and this will just connect us to the internet this will update our dens we're currently sitting in front of a sandaconda den so gmax sandaconda so when we go back into this den now it should change to the current event and there we go, we've got a Raichu. So, what you can do, if you want to kind of farm these events without wasting uh, wishing pieces, or too many wishing pieces, I should say, is you can do the little glitch, invite others. Um, this still works. There's a lot of controversy going around at the minute. People saying it's not working, but it definitely works. Um, come down to date and time. Make sure that your date synchronized clock is off. Change your date forward one day. Come back into the game. Then stop searching, come out of the den, exit it after this process, and then go back into it. This will make sure, that, well, this will mean that you've skipped the frame and the Pokemon should have changed. Okay, so there's a Pichu, I think. I think that's a Pichu. Pretty sure that's a Pichu. Could be a Pikachu. I'm a bit confused, but I'm going to say it's a Pichu. So we'll do this again. I'm, I'm kind of hoping we can get into a Pikachu, because if we can get a square shiny for this video, that would be pretty awesome. And if I do get a square shiny Pikachu this weekend, I will be hosting it over on our Discord. Um, so do make sure you join the Discord server um, and keep an eye out for that. I will make sure to post on YouTube, on Twitter if I do get one. And I will let you know the times that I'll be doing this. So that would be a cool event to do and give everyone a good opportunity to, uh, to grab this event and this Pikachu because it might be a little bit difficult. Okay. There's a five star. I'm going to say this is Pikachu. We're going to go into it. I'm a little confused because I haven't really seen Pikachu in a max rate then. Or maybe have from the previous one that we did or encountered and I just can't remember. So I don't know. Yeah, you can get Pichu. So let's just stop waffling and, and go into it and see. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray and hope. I've saved in front of it. So if it is the shiny, it's fine. We can reset it and come back to it. Pray and hope that it is that square shiny. That would be amazing. Um, but I'm trying to keep this as short as possible because, uh, you know, there's not much to... Uh, it is Pikachu, but it's not this square shiny, which is a little bit sad. But you know what? I'm going to continue to try and get this one over the weekend. Um, and I will wish you all good luck trying to hunt this one. Like I say, use that method to cycle through the dens once you get a promoted raid. And then from that point, you will be able to just change the Pokemon in the den. And uh, if you run into the five-star Pikachu, make sure you save go into the battle if it's not the one you want just reset and then you can start the whole process again and skip through until you get the, the pokemon that you want and then hopefully that makes getting that square shiny a little bit easier but we'll wrap it up there friends thank you so much for tuning in as always if there's any more event updates in the future i will make sure to do them this one's a little bit late going up today because i've been at work all day so i've only just got home so just doing it as soon as I can and um, but thanks for tuning in have a great rest of your day I will catch up with you very soon so take care of yourselves be kind to each other and I'll see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye